Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to cover how to hide the button using display rule ribbon workbench and what is display rule. Now go back to our system. So this is an lead entity form. So click on details tab from here. So under the details tab, here you can see the industry field and this field data type is choice. Like if I am selecting this option and then click on save. So delete button is visible in the command bar. Otherwise, if I click on any other option, like if I am selecting as brokers and then click on save. Now you will notice the delete button is hide from the command bar using the display rule. So display rule is used to make a button appear or not appear. It is based on out of certain rules. Now I will explain step by step how to add display rule. So first navigate to the make.power app, then go to the solutions and then create a solution with the entity whose ribbon you want to customize. So I have already created this solution. So click on that. Now I want to add a lead entity in this solution. Now click on add existing drop down and then go to the table and you can search table from here lead so click on that and then click on next and one more important thing I want to add here when you add an entity in your solution so clear all object of this entity because we clear all object to keep the solution lightweight focused and to avoid overwriting unnecessary component in other environment. Now click on add. So lead entity is added in the customization solution. Now I want to add a display rule. So open your XRM toolbox. So first you can connect with XRM toolbox to your Dynamic 365 environment. So first create a new connection but I have already created a connection that name is testing. Now click on connect from here it is connect to the dynamic 365 CRM solution. Now click on ribbon workbench under the recently used tools. So click on that and then select the solution that I have already created. That name is customizations. So click on that and then click on OK. And once you open the ribbon workbench, find the delete button in the form area because I want to hide a delete button in a lead entity form. You can check the selected entity is lead and then right click on the button and click on customize command to modify the ribbon. So I am not selecting because I have already select this customize command. In the next step, we will add the display rule by right clicking on the display rule header. Now click on add display rule. So now click on add step and add the value rule from here. So you will find the four option there. We need to understand first which option are for what. Default. If no value is selected. By default. If you want to show the button keep true else keep false. So here I am selecting as false. And invert result. This will make the final result opposite if selected yes. But I am selecting as false from here. So the name indicate value rule will check the value of a particular field on the form. So if it is equal to the value which you enter over here, it will make the button appear and if it not will not appear on the form. So in the next step provide the logical name of the field. Now go back to the lead entity form. Now open the level up extension. So click on that and click on logical name. So this is the logical name of this field. So copy that and paste it here. Now put the value here. So go back to the lead entity form. So there are lot of option. So what are the value of these option? So how we can check? Now again, open the level up extension. And then click on show option set value. So this is the name and this is the value of your options. So now I am choosing as one accounting. When I select the accounting option in the industry field, 
so the button is visible otherwise it is hide from the command bar now go back to the ribbon workbench and put the value is 1 and here if you want to give the display rule name you can give it here now you need to add the display rule to the command so click on that and then click on add display rule so this display rule i have created so click on that and then click on publish from here and then click on ok button now click on message from here so it is published successfully now go back to the lead entity form firstly refresh it now click on detail step from here so here you can see delete button is not visible in the command bar so go to the industry field and select the accounting whose that value is 1 and then click on save from here so now you can see in the command bar delete button is visible and if you select any other option like if i am selecting as brokers and then click on save so it is hide from the command bar so in this video we covered how to hide a button using a display rule thanks for watching